Hey everybody, it's Thomas. I just wanted to get something out there while I was on the road. I'm, it's just been tugging at my heart uh, for the past few days and I've been answering bits and pieces of uh, these two things that keep coming up for a lot of people that I, that I think are, are just really getting in the way of their, their results, both mentally and physically. Um, one thing is, big, big, big mistake that I think a lot of people are making is that you're drinking way too much smoothie in one shot. So for those of you who heard like putting down an entire container of smoothie, a full Vitamix container of like 64 ounces in one sitting, no, I don't, like there's no way your stomach is that big. So you're, you're creating this huge, huge, huge amount of like pool in your, in your stomach that's just, that makes it impossible to, to digest the entire thing. So of course you're going to get bloating and some cramping and some serious discomfort. You're only supposed to drink till till like satisfactory fullness. That's it. I mean, you drink that and then put the rest of it away. And when you feel hungry again, then have some more. But don't force feed an entire blender of smoothie in one shot. Oh my goodness. If you get to the point where you're full or satisfied, stop there. Leave the rest in the refrigerator and come back later when, when your stomach is a little more empty. That could be like in as little as 30 minutes to a half an hour. The idea is that you're just not overstuffing yourself per sitting. The second thing that I see so many of you running into the mistake of doing is you're getting sad over weight gain. Oh my goodness, stop that. You're not going to gain fat from drinking smoothies made out of kale, spinach, and a little bit of fruit. Are you kidding me? You, you can't physically create that much fat tissue drinking and eating that stuff. It's just, I mean, those foods, you can't put fat on that way. And let's pretend for a second that you really could. Let's pretend that, uh, that, that you could gain fat from the fruit that's in the smoothies. First of all, you don't have to have fruit in your smoothies if you don't want to, but let's pretend um, that in some magical, magical existence that, that fruit, all the fruit that you eat automatically gets converted into body fat on your body. If you are consuming 64 ounces of smoothie a day and that only 25% of that is coming from the fruit, so that's like, what, how many ounces of fruit is that? It's like on an eight cup blender, on an eight, on a, on an eight cup bl blender, you've got two cups of that coming from, through, like two cups, two cups of fruit is suddenly putting on a pound of fat on your body. Are you kidding me? This is madness. <laughs> you've got, <laughs> it's just so, it's, it's such crazy madness. No, if you're up in weight and it hasn't gone down yet, that's great, that's fine. That's just what you should weigh. Being the weight that you are right now, being optimally hydrated, having a good amount of food, moving through your whole football field length of intestines, that is, and, and having your glycogen uh, levels restored the way they're supposed to, that's how much you're supposed to weigh. But, it, but you didn't gain any body fat. You didn't gain an ounce of fat. If you think that you gained any fat from this, please prove it to me. Please prove it to me. No, here's what you got to do. You got to measure your inches. So that means that we're already into week number two. So by now you should have taken your second set of waist measurements. Are those going down? Are they staying the same or are they going up? You got to answer that question along with, with uh, doing the weight stuff that I taught you. Now, if you haven't watched my weight trending v, uh, video yet, you have to watch that. Those of you who are getting worried, I'm seeing it in your language. You get, I mean, you should see the way you write. Some of you, my goodness, you're writing, I'm concerned that it's been 10 days and all I've been drinking has been smoothies and I'm making myself healthier than I've ever been in a long, long time. And I'm filling my belly up with more water, more hydration, more fiber, more nutrients than ever before. And I'm concerned that I am physically heavier, even though you know that you are the weight of your body plus all the food and all the water and all the hydration, all the glycogen in your body. Even though you know that, you're still concerned. You've got to watch out. You've got to watch that video. And if you watched it, watch it again. If you're still concerned, you got to watch it again. Here's what I'm going to invite all of you to do. This is my personal invitation to you. Post up your entire weight log and I'll analyze it for you. It takes me, it takes me two seconds to analyze a weight log. Um, and, and if you're not used to doing that, then Use my help. Use my help to do that for you because you need somebody who is very, very good 
at Analyzing Weight Trends, who has been doing this for thousands of people for many, many years, over, over almost two decades now. Almost two decades now. You need someone who's been able to put multiple people on magazine covers of fitness magazines, who's been able to work with people from the celebrity level all the way down to just your everyday person. I'm here to help you guys. I don't want you to freak out over over, over things that you shouldn't be freaking out about. You get it? You get it? It's, it's too soon. You don't even have enough data. It's impossible for you to conclude that you've, you've gained any fat or you've lost any fat or all that other stuff. Let's take the drama out of the equation so that you can live happily, you can be healthier, and you don't take yourself out of the game. All right, that's all I got. When I get to my destination, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys some more. I hope this helps.